Hello and welcome to RollerDB once again. This is uh, another in our series of videos that are uh, meant to help you get the best out of RollerDB. And today we're going to talk about how to place a pigeon for sale on the Breeders Marketplace. Uh, it used to be that the Breeders Marketplace was commission based. Uh, we've since gotten rid of that and uh, have basically opened it up. You can now post any pigeon for sale for any price and uh, as long as the pigeon is one of your birds in your in your record set um, the pigeon will be posted with contact information a price and any any of the other information that we'll, we'll walk you through in a second. Um, so to start let me select the bird that I want to sell. Uh, in this case I'm going to sell this bird called Herbert. Um, if you look down um, the left hand menu you'll see an item uh, that says post for sale. We'll click on that and uh, we'll immediately immediately go to a a form uh, that lets us enter information about the sale. So first we're going to enter a title the location is preloaded with a location you've uh, selected as uh, the address for your your loft and your options. If you haven't selected an address, this will be blank. You can always override it. We'll put a quick description in here. We'll put a sales price. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put fifty dollars. Uh, you don't include any any sign, any uh, dollar sign or anything. It could be a a round number or a number plus a fraction of a number. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say that we can ship this bird. When you select that you're willing to ship, uh, another series of questions pop up. Uh, the first one says if you have any comments about the shipping that you're willing to to do, uh, go ahead and, st and state that. In my case, I only want to ship to the lower 48 states. Um, you'll be asked for a sort of estimate on shipping. In my case, it's about 30 bucks anywhere in the country. And finally, I require a shipping container to be sent to me. So. I'll check that box and the last thing I want to do is uh, agree to the terms of use. The terms of use basically states what you can and cannot do with this service. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and place this pigeon for sale and what I see next is the actual ad um, show up. This ad will show up among other ads on the Breeders Marketplace and as you can see there will be contact information. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you the Breeders Marketplace. And he here we are. Um, Breeders Marketplace is accessible to the public from the homepage. Um, from time to time, I also post some of these on other lists, sort of uh, to, to try to market them better, um, like Craigslist, um, Hoobly, um, and then any other. Um, forum that I find. Uh, as you can see here, the spinner that we put up for sale appears with the price and the information we've added, as well as contact information for myself. So if I click on the full listing, we'll see all the information, um, including notes about shipping, uh, the shipping container requirement, and again the contact information. The um, the good thing about using RollerDB to sell your birds is that you can link right to your to the record of this pigeon. So as you can see here, we have a link to this bird's ident identification. Um, and also down here, you can see that it says uh, view a full record on RollerDB.com. If I click this, I get the full record of this pigeon, uh, which is really invaluable to anyone who's interested in buying your birds. Uh, in a in a pretty simple and intuitive format, they can see um, 
everything about this bird and that may sway them one way or the other um, and hopefully you'll make a sale or two so um, we hope this was informative and I hope you guys get uh, good use out of the breeders marketplace um, we'll see you next time thanks